congratulations on surviving another season. Only just in the nick of time. Yeah. <laughs> well, you survived, but not not everybody, unfortunately. I know. I was like, it's weird. I mean, I was devastated, obviously, about Drake passing away, but I also was equally devastated by Clive Babineau and his long-term love, Dale Bozio's breakup. I was that was like the saddest thing for me out of the whole thing. I was like, I just want Babineau to be happy and find love. But he live, ruining everything, being a zombie. <laughs> well, speaking of dying and relationships, now that now that Drake is sadly out of the picture, do you think that kind of paves the way for a live major rekindling? I hope Liv and Major end up together. I think they're a great couple. I'm all about them. But I think like I love that they're friends first, and I love that like ultimately, if they're going to work out, they're going to work out, and they've been able to stand by each other through thick and thin. It's a really complicated thing. It's like. She's grieving two dead boyfriends. It's not that easy to just jump straight back in with Major, but I think ultimately they're really great for each other and kind and they love each other. So, yeah, I hope so. I think Liv is just leaving a trail of really good-looking bodies in her wake. I know. Who's next? Nobody wants to get cast as Liv's love interest. They know where they're going. (laughs) How much have you bugged Rob Thomas about what's coming up in Season 3? So much. There's an email chain going around right now that is ridiculous, actually, when I think of some of the topics off the top of my head. But... We're really excited that um, the last thing that I heard from him is that Major is going to be taking on characteristics from Brains as well. Like, we'll see a little bit more of that. Him and other zombies are going to be sort of in- inhabiting a few of these different personas too. So I'm really excited that I'll be sharing that duty. <laughs> Very cool. Um, what are we to make of this new uh, zombie leader that we met at the end of uh, the finale? Uh, oh, well, I, I don't know what to make of her yet. I'm cagey. I mean, she's a dodgy character, but at the same time, like... Liv doesn't really have any female zombie friends. You know, you can't be too picky. So I don't know if she knows yet where her allegiance lies, quite who this woman is and what she stands for. And are we trusting Blaine that he really lost his memory or do we think he's faking it? I mean, I just don't trust David Anders. So, like, he, he is a villain through and through. But, I I mean, yeah, I guess. I, I guess it seems to be so. And he has stood by Liv and been really good to her. So she's kind of, he's kind of one of the better friends she has at the moment. That's sad. I know. Slim pickings when Blaine is one of your good mates, isn't it? Oh, 